Yeah, good day, amazing people. So uh, I still remember your professional organizing advisor and consultant, Tegwatip Kadaniel. I know so many of you here knows me very well. So I want to share a very brief information with all of us. And now this one is not grammar. You understand? I'm not here to speak grammar. I'm going to be straight out forward in what I'm saying. The truth is that hmm? as a young man, as a young lady, or even if you are no longer young, if you are not investing in real estate, the honest truth is that you are not doing yourself right. You are not doing good to yourself. Real estate alone, you can use that to plan ahead for your retirement. Buying landed properties, leave it there. Real estate alone, you can use it to preserve the value of your money. And the good thing is that it keeps appreciating. We use it to hedge inflation. Now, as a parent, you can use real estate investment to train your children in university. Now they are, they, are, they are young. You can acquire affordable property in prospective locations. That is okay. Leave it there. Before the child becomes 15 years, 18 years to go to university, you can resell any of the land. The, 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 the girl or the boy is already a millionaire. Let us be honest to ourselves. No, you know, all the time we speak a whole lot of grammar, investing in real estate. Real, investing in real estate actually means buying land or houses, that's property, to yourself, own it to yourself. And you know it's one of the best investments across the nations of the earth, in the world. When you have landed property to yourself in prospective locations, it's certain that your future is secured. I'm telling you the truth. There are so many things you can do, even with your empty land that you've not done anything on. You can still be making money. In one of my videos, I made mention of that. So, I don't know why most people are still finding it hard to invest. Yes, I know some of us have gotten our fingers burnt because we did the wrong investment or we invested through the wrong people. And that is why you need to do your due diligence. That is why you need to do your own findings to be sure of the people you are buying property from. Be sure of the real estate company you are buying property from. It is very, very crucial. Now, when all these things are being met, you've done your due diligence, invest. You don't have to leave your money lying fallow in the bank. It doesn't give you any reasonable interest rate. We know the inflation rate in Nigeria now. It's not, it's not, it's not smiling on any of us. So the best thing you can do for yourself, I'm not just telling you because I'm into real estate. No, I'm telling you because that is what I do. Aside being a real estate consultant, that is what I do. That is what I do. I don't allow, allow my money lying fallow in the bank. I can look for if I don't if I don't want to to actually use it to own a land. I can use it to invest in a particular um, land banking, buy to sell, or invest in any investment that I can withdraw it any uh, within any um, duration that I want to withdraw my money with an interest. You can imagine we have a we have a program buy to sell. Within twelve months, your money is making you forty percent of uh, of whatever you invested into it. You can imagine investing five. 5 million naira. At the end of the 12 months, you have four, five, your 5 million naira with your 40% of that 5 million naira. You invest 100 million. At the end of 12 months, you have your 100 million naira and you have 40% of that same 100 million naira. You can imagine. Tell me which bank can beat that kind of interest. That is why it is good to do land banking. You are a young guy there. Be lavishing your money. Buying all the land. Yeah, luxury is good. But let that luxury be in investment. Luxury is good. Let it not be in buying the latest Jeep or buying the latest car. Use that money to invest into your life, your future, your unborn generation. That is the legacy you have. That is the good thing they can talk about you. That is the blessing your children can even pray back on you when you are no more there. That is what can you confer you financial freedom. Because if you have land, I'm telling you, in prospective location, you are no more a poor man. Even if you are still struggling, struggling now, I'm telling the truth. So let's just be honest to ourselves. Invest in landed property. I'm not calling you to come and invest through me. Because uh, he said, some people will say, uh, Mr. Pika is saying this because he's into landed properties. No, I'm telling you as someone that cares for you. 
I don't care if you are buying from anybody or you are buying from anywhere. It's none of my, it doesn't take anything away from you, from me, sorry. But the truth is that when buying, make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure you do your due diligence. Don't just buy because he's a friend or he's a family member or one. Do your due, do, do the necessary finance and get the proper documentation before you invest your money in there. And you still, if you still feel, feel free that you want to converse with Mr. Ibuka to show you um, reputable um, properties and companies to deal with, or maybe good properties that you can invest in, feel free to shut me up or call me on my number as usual. And I help you do that. I've been doing that for my friends, both home and abroad, for people that even doesn't know me. So it's the bottom line of what I'm saying, not too much of grammar. My brother, my sister, start buying land. You don't need to become a billionaire or a millionaire or have one big money before you start buying properties. Start buying them now. Start buying them. Start buying them. Gradually, start buying them. Small, small, start buying them. Before you know it, you own properties. You can be paying on monthly installment gradually, 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 gradually. Before you know it, you own property to yourself. That is how I started. Though. That is how I started. So many people was a mistake got all of a sudden. How did it happen? How did it happen? Is it a magic or not? So that is how I started though. I started on installment. When they opened my eye, it first started with my mom. I started investing small, small, all the small, small money that is coming into my hand. I was using it to buy land gradually, gradually. And before you know it, you become landlord, landowner. I even make money with your land. Yes, your bay land, you can make money with it. Ask me a question, I'll tell you how you can make money with your ordinary land. I have not done anything now. Just clear it. Clear the bush. Hmm? And if it is in the kind of place you need to fence it, fence it. You start coughing out money. As far as it is in a prospective location. So, uh, I think this is what I have for us today. <laughs> Do have a wonderful day. Then for those that uh, maybe their own time zone is night. Do have a wonderful night. I still remain your professional listed advisor and consultant that cares about your sources when it comes to land and housing issues across Nigeria.